What's up guys, TechFlash here and today we are going to talk about a cell phone that is surely going to change the gaming cell phone market. I am talking about the ASUS ROG Phone 2. Now last year when ASUS launched their ROG Phone, it soon became the attention seeker for everyone because of one simple reason and that reason was its chipset. You see it was using a custom made Snapdragon 845 chipset which was clocked a bit higher than all the other chipsets in the market. And this gave this cell phone a bit of an advantage and it was faster than all the other cell phones on the market that time. And this time around ASUS is going a bit further with launching a new chipset with their ROG cell phone. ROG Phone 2 is coming on July 23rd and it is the first cell phone to be coming out with Snapdragon 855 Plus which is going to be a custom made Snapdragon 855 and the difference between a normal 855 and a custom made 855 is one the clock speeds and the other one is the fact that the GPU on this cell phone is also going to be clocked higher than the normal 855 variants. Now gaming smartphones surely bank on performance and the main highlight of them is surely going to be the performance from Snapdragon 855 plus and this time around the major improvements include a CPU performance which is 4.2% better than the uh, base variant Snapdragon 855 and also the biggest improvement is in the form of GPU which increases 15% from the base variant of Snapdragon 855. Now the interesting thing is that last year when ASUS ROG phone was launched with a custom made Snapdragon 845, it was the only device with that particular chipset and it gave a significant advantage for ASUS ROG phone over other handsets in the market. But this year around, though ROG phone 2 is going to be the first cell phone with this particular chipset, it is not going to be the only one. In fact, it is rumored the Galaxy Note 10 is also coming with refresh chipsets for this year and this year around we are going to see Exynos 9825 for the Exynos variant and Snapdragon 855 plus for the Snapdragon variants of Galaxy Note 10. So you see the biggest advantage for ROG phone was the small performance gain over the other cell phones and this year around we are going to see that same performance gains for all the other handsets however things don't end there. Another major improvement for ROG phone this year around is going to be the display. You see last year when ROG phone was launched it came out with a 90Hz display which was much smoother than all the other displays on the market but this time around they are giving it a significant upgrade and you are going to see a 120Hz display on the latest ROG phone 2. We don't know yet the resolution of the display but we would expect that it would come with at least same resolution as the original model and it does look though that you can adjust the refresh rate between 60, 90 and 120 hertz which will give you better battery life because as you know if the refresh rate is increased the battery life receives serious amount of dents. Now as far as leaks are concerned we saw a device which is supposedly the ASUS ROG Phone 2 and this device is not supporting a notch it has no full screen display or a pop up camera because this device is all about the whole gaming experience and we saw the leaks with the front side of ASUS ROG Phone so we don't know how the back is going to look like and with these devices the back has some serious design gains because last year we saw some great design aesthetics with the ROG Phone so we are expecting the same this year around however the front side reveals that we are going to see stereo speakers which are going to be the front wiring speakers so the gaming experience and overall entertainment experience on this cell phone is surely going to be a uh, great as far as other leaks are concerned we don't yet know what is going to be the exact pricing for this device and what is going to be the internals for this device other than the chipset itself also i want to include here that uh, I'm not sure about the future of gaming cell phones as every company is trying to launch a gaming cell phone but I believe that uh, other cell phones like Galaxy series or uh, Huawei Mate series are going to be much far ahead of these gaming devices because most of the time when a person is using a cell phone for gaming that person is not that serious about gaming and if someone is serious about gaming they are going to buy consoles or PCs but uh, I might prove myself wrong because I don't know where the technology will head to so if you're new to the channel do subscribe and we will see where this technology is going to head away also if you could like this video it would be a great appreciation for me and uh, I will see you in the next one.